Stairad Velocity System. The Stairad Velocity System offers advanced reliable technology with results read out in as fast as just 15 minutes. In this video, we will provide an overview for its use. Indications for use. It's important to identify the indications for use of the Sterad Velocity Biological Indicator, BI, Process Challenge Device, PCD, in conjunction with the Sterad Velocity Reader. Biological monitoring provides the only direct measure of lethality of a sterilization cycle. Therefore, it is to be used as a standard method for monitoring each of the following Sterad sterilization system cycles. The standard, flex, express, and duo cycles of the Sterad 100NX system with and without all clear technology. The standard and advanced cycles of the Sterad NX system with and without all clear technology and the Sterad 100S system. Prior to use. Always check the expiration date on the Sterad Velocity Biological Indicator, BI, Process Challenge Device, PCD box, as well as on the individual vials to be used. If the Sterad Velocity Biological Indicator, BI, Process Challenge Device, PCD box is new, write the discard or expiration date after opening the foil pouch on the shelf pack when it's first opened. Discard remaining BI PCDs three months after opening the foil pouch. Do not use a Sterad Velocity BI PCD beyond the expiration date printed on the package or the discard date written on the front of the package. Once open, the BI PCD should be stored between 41 degrees to 77 degrees Fahrenheit or 5 degrees to 25 degrees Celsius at or below 50% relative humidity. Do not store near any sterilizer, sources of ethylene oxide, hydrogen peroxide, acids, alkalis, or volatile antimicrobials such as glutaraldehyde or formaldehyde, steroid system cassettes, or any other oxidizers. To ensure that the integrity of the ampule has not been compromised, inspect the test vial to confirm the following. The growth medium is purple. The ampule is intact, meaning not broken or cracked. The chemical indicator or CI on the cap is red-pink, and the spore disc is lying horizontally in the bottom of the growth reservoir. Next, record the sterilizer ID, load cycle ID, and date on the cap label. Do not apply tape or labels to the BI PCD cap prior to sterilization or the growth reservoir prior to reading. Preparation for use. When preparing a Sterad Velocity BI PCD to monitor a sterilization cycle, do not place it in a peel pouch. If you're applying tape to secure the BI PCD to the shelf, you must use Seal Sure Chemical Indicator, CI tape. As a reminder, do not apply tape, labels, or anything that could obstruct the fluorescence detection on the BI PCD prior to processing in the sterad sterilization systems. The tape or labels will block the sterilant ingress windows, causing misleading results. Additionally, do not place marks on the barcode. Placing marks on the barcode may interfere with a barcode reader's ability to retrieve barcode data. If the sterad sterilizer is equipped with a scanner, scan the barcode on the cap label. When using the Sterad NX Sterilizer or the Sterad 100 NX Sterilizer, place the BI PCD on the bottom shelf, close to the rear of the sterilization chamber. When using the Sterad 100 S Sterilizer, place the indicator in the bottom, close to the front of the sterilization chamber. After processing a Sterad Velocity Biological Indicator, BI, Process Challenge Device, PCD. After the cycle is completed, Put on protective gloves and remove the biological indicator, process challenge device, from the sterilizer. Check the chemical indicator on the top of the BI PCD to ensure the color changed from red, pink, to yellow. Then remove any tape from the growth reservoir prior to placing the BI PCD in the reader. The tape will obstruct the fluorescence detection causing misleading results. Inspect the BI PCD to ensure that the growth medium is purple. The ampule remained intact during the sterilization cycle and the spore disc is lying horizontally on the bottom of the growth reservoir. Finally, be aware that the BI PCD must be placed in the reader within two hours of completing this sterilization cycle. Preparation for incubation. 
let's review the instructions for operation of the reader and incubation of a process test biological indicator process challenge device. To begin, touch an available well indicator number on the reader's touchscreen. The selected well will then be used for reading. Next, touch test to add a process test BIPCD to the well. Before placing the BIPCD in the well, first scan the barcode on the cap label using the barcode scanner on the front of the reader. For best results, position the BIPCD 4 inches or 10 centimeters in front of the barcode scanner during scanning. Enter the operator's name and the space provided or select the operator's name from the list. You will be prompted to inspect the chemical indicator on the top of the cap for color change from red, pink to yellow, which confirms the BIPCD has been exposed to hydrogen peroxide. Next, complete the request information fields before touching next. This information can be found on the cycle printout from the corresponding Sterad sterilizer. Finally, activate the BIPCD before placing it in the reader. To activate, completely press the cap down until the glass ampule breaks, then visually inspect to ensure the glass ampule has broken. Shake it rapidly to ensure liquid flows into the growth reservoir. Make sure the growth medium fills the growth reservoir and there are no large bubbles present. Failure to do so may result in incorrect reading. Once complete, place the processed BIPCD in the selected reader well. Test results will be available in as fast as 15 minutes, depending on the software version loaded on the Sterad Velocity Reader. Do not remove the BIPCD until incubation is complete. Doing so will void the BIPCD. Proper use of controls. A positive control is used to ensure that the biological indicator, process challenge device, and the reader are functioning properly. A positive control is an unprocessed Sterad Velocity BIPCD, which is activated in red in the Sterad Velocity reader. To perform this control, select a positive control BIPCD from the same lot as the test BIPCD. Inspect the positive control to ensure the growth medium is purple, the ampule is intact, the chemical indicator on the cap is red, pink, and the spore disc is lying horizontally in the bottom of the growth reservoir. Next, touch an available well indicator number on the reader's touchscreen. When asked what type of BIPCD will be added, touch Control. Scan the barcode on the cap label using the barcode scanner located on the front of the reader. Then enter the operator's name in the space provided or select the operator's name from the list. If configured, an optional screen prompt will ask the operator to visually confirm the color of the chemical indicator located on the cap. Activate the BI PCD before placing it in the reader. To activate, completely press the cap down until the glass ampule breaks and visually inspect to ensure the glass ampule has broken. Shake rapidly to ensure liquid flows into the growth reservoir. Failure to do so may result in incorrect reading. Finally, place the control BI PCD in the selected reader well. Test results will be available in as fast as 15 minutes. A new positive control should be performed at least once every 24 hours using a BI PCD from the same lot as the test indicator. The test results are considered invalid if there are no positive control results. Interpretation of results, chemical indicator. To read the chemical indicator result, compare the CI color against the CI of an unprocessed BIPCD. The CI shifts from red, pink when unprocessed to yellow when processed after exposure to the hydrogen peroxide sterilization process. A processed CI may also be yellow with some red, orange, and brown dots. Interpretation of results, test BIPCD. A negative result on a test biological indicator process challenge device is indicated by a green well number. This result signifies that a sterilization condition was achieved which is sufficient to kill at least 1 million of the most resistant identified bacterial spores in the BIPCD. Test BIPCD results are only valid with positive control results. To view the result confirmation, touch the green well indicator number or remove the BIPCD from the well. For additional details or to add notes to the BIPCD record, touch View and Print Results Summary. A positive result on a test BIPCD is indicated by a red well number. This result signifies that a sterilization condition was not achieved. If a positive result is observed, 
touch continue. Enter the name of the operator acknowledging the result and touch done when finished. Important note, whenever a positive result is observed, follow the current hospital or healthcare facility policies and procedures regarding quarantine or retrieval and reprocessing of potentially non-sterile instruments and notification of the clinicians. Then repeat the test with a second BIPCD. If the second BIPCD is negative, run a third BIPCD to confirm sterilizer performance. If either the second or third BIPCD is positive, continue to follow the current hospital or healthcare facility's policies and procedures regarding quarantine or retrieval and reprocessing of potentially non-sterile instruments and notification of the physician or physicians. Finally, report the positive BIPCD to ASP, including the product lot number. Have the sterilizer checked by ASP and do not use the sterilizer unit until it has been checked. Interpretation of results. A positive result on a control biological indicator process challenge device indicates that both the reader and the BIPCD are functioning properly. A negative result on our control BIPCD could have several causes. Refer to the troubleshooting section of the Sterad Velocity Reader User's Guide for detailed instructions. If a negative result is observed, repeat the test with a second BIPCD from the same lot number as the BIPCD which had a negative result. If the second BIPCD is negative, consult the Sterad Velocity Reader User's Guide troubleshooting section and contact ASP. Disposal of Biological Indicator Process Challenge Device. Discard Sterad Velocity Biological Indicator, BI, Process Challenge Device, PCD ampules after final reading based on your facility's procedures. Any positive BI, PCD, including a positive control BIPCD or one from a canceled cycle should be autoclaved for at least 30 minutes at 250 degrees Fahrenheit or 121 degrees Celsius or per your hospital or healthcare facility's policies and procedures. Storage of Biological Indicator Process Challenge Device. To ensure proper storage, Biological Indicator Process Challenge Device should be stored in a sealed foil pouch between 41 degrees to 86 degrees Fahrenheit or 5 degrees to 30 degrees Celsius at or below 65% relative humidity. Write the discard date or expiration after opening the foil pouch on the shelf pack when it is first opened. Discard remaining BI PCDs three months after opening the foil pouch. Do not use a Sterad Velocity BI PCD beyond the expiration date printed on the package or the discard date written on the front of package. Once open, the BI PCD should be stored between 41 degrees to 77 degrees Fahrenheit or 5 degrees to 25 degrees Celsius at or below 50% relative humidity. Do not store near any sterilizer, sources of ethylene oxide, hydrogen peroxide, acids, alkalis, or volatile antimicrobials such as glutaraldehyde or formaldehyde, Sterad system cassettes, or any other oxidizers. This concludes our overview of the Sterad Velocity system. For complete information and instructions, please refer to the Sterad Velocity Biological Indicator BI Process Challenge Device PCD instructions for use, the Sterad Velocity system wall chart, and the Sterad Velocity Reader User's Guide.